happy new vlog. Happy 30 weeks. It is Tuesday, so this week has been quite different than other weeks. I really feel like the uncomfort has kicked it up a notch this week. Sunday night going into Monday night, like the sleeping situation just didn't want to happen because everything just hurt. Uh, I started getting like a lot of pain like right in my sternum, which has been quite unpleasant. We're not as bad today, but man, when she moves and grooves, does she move and groove. I got an order here that I placed at Bye Bye Baby that I was gonna show you guys. So the last time we had made a purchase at Bye Bye Baby, if we had done the car side pickup, we got a $25 voucher for our next purchase. So I used that for this and then I had two coupons and I stacked those babies up. I got a really good deal. And I basically got the last few remaining things from Bye Bye Baby that we needed. Well, need is a strong word, that we wanted. So this is kind of like the end, I think, of our Bye Bye Baby pre-baby purchasing. Our Amazon registry coupon becomes available Sunday. Our Target Amazon registry coupon becomes available the day after Black Friday. So we're gonna see if we can get anything Black Friday that will be better than the registry coupon. Otherwise, everything is just getting bought after Black Friday. Oh, another razor. I got one of these in a Bye Bye Baby gift from my, uh, my baby shower. I don't know why they're just giving away these chicken tuitions. But I, we did get three things. The first thing is from Happiest Baby. This is from the person who wrote the book, Happiest Baby on the Block. He's the one who created the snoo. But this is his swaddle. So we now have three of these like sleeper swaddles. So this one like Velcros across here and then it zips. And it also can zip from the bottom too. This is the smallest size, this, this size small. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. Uh, another thing that was on our list was her brush. This was a brush that was recommended to me online. The Dream Baby just happens to come with a little comb. And then one last thing we did not have. Well, we don't actually have our changing pad yet. I ordered it from another retailer. That'll be coming down the line. But we have changing pad covers. But I also wanted to get changing pad liners just because... It's a lot easier to throw to throw a liner in the wash and throw a new one on rather than always having to change the changing pad cover. So I got this three pack. Um, I didn't really get recommended the ones from the Boppy. These just were kind of like the best deal with the best reviews I felt like at Bye Bye Baby. So it's just three changing pad liners to help make our lives a little easier, hopefully. With how uncomfortable things are getting, I'm getting closer and closer to being ready to just I'll be pregnant anymore, so counting down the days at this point. That is it for right now. What's up? Okay. By you my, called me here for this meeting. By my calculation, we can act Mario. Seriously. By my calculations, we can check five things off the list today. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So wash all newborn zero to three month towels and blankets. That's done. The sound effects. <laughs> There's gonna be great sound effects. Not wacha wacha. Those are bad sound effects. Ah! If wash poppy is done. You did that without me? Uh, reorganized nursery closet. We did that, right? Organized dresser and utility cart. We did that too. So that's You did four. that without me? You were we did this all like a week ago. We just never crossed all this off. And then now we can also cross off remove side garden. Do we have to put cross off the things on the list on the list to be crossed off because you seem to be forgetting to cross off a lot of stuff is that all is that all <laughs> i just crossed off five things five things all right i'm gonna go on my run this is the cute mom and dad <laughs> boom she can't smile with me there. She has to wait until I'm not there because she's not happy with me. Are you done? Hello. Hi, I'm ready. <laughs> so, we got a baby <laughs> gift in the mail. It's from your cousin. Do you want to open it? What? Ooh. Don't we have a bunch of square drawings? We did receive other blocks, correct? These are not the same. <laughs> This is awesome. So these look like Baby Einstein Explore and Discover blocks. 
And I don't know if you can hear them, but they make like a jingle. This says, baby will love touching and exploring all the cool animals, shapes, colors, and activities, stacking the soft plush blocks, and watching them tumble. Okay, let's see. This is the Scott show. Rachel's gone. Apparently, you just took up the entire frame. And they're free! Wow! This one is a fish. And we can stack them. And they don't hurt at all. So... This one's an octopus. You could throw them at pregnant woman. What's wrong with you? And she doesn't break. I wanted to throw something at her for so long. What's this? This is a seahorse. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is a turtle with a mirror. Oh my god. You can't just throw. You can't just. You can't just. <laughs> Ow! Really? Hey, you can think I come so? Back or you're just gonna do the show yourself? I'm doing the show! Alright, so next on next clip will be probably a montage of us cleaning up the Things by the Burke studio. Yeah, that's because not part of this, but it has gotten gonna... way too out of control. So they are calling in the experts. <laughs> and by they, I mean the Things by the Burke YouTube squad has has decided to call in the experts, aka me, aka Scott, aka the greatest cleaner of all time, aka I don't, I don't, to I'm not a turtle lot. person. Can you finish opening the first Mario? Oh, I thought that was it. Mario's on phase by blocks. Oh, I'm coming in for a landing. A den and anus. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it says? Anais. <laughs> Is that what it says? I think it's called Aiden and Aeneas. Can you just show us what it is? Oh god. This is a pack looks of like peaches swallows. and lemons. Do you not get to see oh, you need to show each individual. This one is really cute because it has like dots and circles on it. Thank you. Love it. This is giraffes and stars. Love it. I do actually I do know. And this one is like yellow, like trees or leaves or branches or something. I don't know. Definitely. Oh, that was cool. Huh? Now swaddle Mario. All right, here we go. Mario, you come out to be swaddled, you little pooper. <laughs> so what do you have to do first? You got to put this out like a diamond and then you tuck the top down. All right. So then what you got to do is you got to grab them and put them on the back. Putting a cat on its back. Cats have like a very strict. No cats were hurt in the making of this, at least I don't think. Okay, now, so you gotta tuck one arm down, right? Oh god. And you tuck this under, and then he's gonna get Oh, no, no, wait. And then tuck this one under, and then you go through, uh, and you wrap around. No. So we're made. No. No. <laughs> so the difference is Mario can walk. Like the baby cannot walk or crawl. So you know, yes, the baby's doing fidgeting, but thank you to your cousins this for this gift. Also, Target was having kids' books buy two get one free, so we got one fish, two fish, red fish, <laughs> red fish, blue fish. We got ABCs. And we got a touch and feel animal book. So now we're gonna go do oh some. Oh my gosh, I feel like every clip of this vlog is me sitting here. I swear, I do more than sit here. I swear. We had a bunch of packages delivered today of stuff I ordered, so I figured I'd show you guys some of the stuff. This week has just been hard. You know, I'm feeling the growing. I'm feeling the growing. And I. <laughs> I'm getting lower and lower on energy and motivation. Got stuck on my side yesterday in the center of our bed and felt like a turtle on my back. But on, I wanna say Thursday, we realized our Amazon registry coupon was available. So I think, I think the way it works is like two months before the baby's due, at least on Amazon, they will provide you with a 15% off coupon if you are a Prime member, I think it's only 10% if you're not Prime. It's not everything, like they tell you what in your registry qualifies. Now for me, I was kind of confused because it seemed like some 
postpartum things that I had still on there did qualify, whereas like some things that I considered actual baby things didn't qualify. So it was weird. I mean, 15% to begin with isn't like the biggest discount, but it was something. We have been buying a few things for like photo shoots and stuff, so I'm not gonna show you guys that stuff because I want all that to be a surprise, but I'll show you some of the stuff we got. First, I got this set of pajamas. Not sure how I feel about it, but I wanted a pair of pajamas that I could wear postpartum because I have noticed that for the first time in my entire life, like pregnancy is like, I need to wear this to bed at night. Like during the summer, I had a very specific thing I had to wear at night. And during the winter now, I have very specific, well, fall, whatever season it is, I have to wear something very specific. And I wanted, like right now, everything I wear to bed is under the belly. Like I cannot have anything over the belly while I sleep. But since I am looking more and more towards most likely having a C-section, I did want something a little bit higher waisted. So this is a set of pajamas that I think you can wear pregnant. Like it has one of the adjustable waistbands. So it's like a pair of black pants and then the top is actually a nursing top. And since I get very cold at night and I need to wear at least pants at night, like I thought this was be this would be good. It's just very basic set. I don't know if I'm gonna take it to the hospital or not. I haven't really gotten that far, but now I have at least one pair of pajamas I can wear that are like for this time of year slash January when it's nice and cold. Another thing I realized with all of the like makeup bags that I've gotten through these years, I've never ever gotten one that has a hook. Like I don't know how that happened, but I did wind up also ordering just this pretty basic toiletries bag so I could hang in the bathroom at the hospital. I mean, it's very generic. I mean, they had ones with like lots of different like colors and patterns and I just went for boring gray. But now I have one of these. There is one other thing I bought for myself and I've heard people say to get this. This is the Sitz bath salt. It is um, bath salt specifically made for postpartum recovery. And if postpartum is anything like this, I will be taking a lot of baths. So I did get this as well. And then there's two things that we got for the baby. The first was this set of mittens because we don't have any mittens for the baby. Now these seem very large, but I'm assuming that they're large because you want to be able to put them pretty far down <laughs> the baby's arm. These do say they're six, zero to six months. So I think it's six pairs of just like these very basic mittens. I don't know if they're going to stay on her, but I wanted to at least have um, separate mittens for the outfits we have that don't have the rollover hands for when she's a baby. And it actually came with like this bag, which I'm assuming I can just wash them right in, which I thought was pretty cool. And then the last thing I have from Amazon is I did buy a pack of the muslin burp cloths. I think this is an eight pack. I know this is what my mom used for us when we were babies. So I'm very familiar with these, but like this, for example, is something that was not covered under the Amazon baby registry coupon. But like to me, like this is very baby. <laughs> Whereas like my postpartum pajamas are not, but I don't know, it was very weird. But we have a couple things still left that we ordered, um, but yeah that haven't gotten delivered yet, but that's what came from Amazon today. And then we had been gifted a gift card to Baby List. So Baby List was kind of like the hub that we had our baby registry at where we had the links to all our registries in and someone gave us a gift. So Baby List does also sell products. So I kind of went through what we still needed and bought three things. First is the Nose Frida, which is how you suck the boogers out of the nose, which sounds super gross. Um, not something I'm super excited about, but now we have it. I also got the Derma Frida, which is for a dry skin and cradle cap when they're when we're bathing her. So I definitely wanted one of these. And then finally, we have a changing pad. I'm not gonna lie, I I know people get like really fancy changing pads and they rave about them, but I just got a really basic changing pad. I I feel like. I'd rather have a really basic one and if we really don't like it and we really feel like we need one of the nicer ones, then we'll do it. But I don't know, I just, it like in the beginning, like I feel like the amount of time she's gonna be changed in this room versus like in our bedroom at night or downstairs if I have her downstairs, like, I don't know. I just, I didn't wanna make the investment. Although I hear people love them, I know. I'm probably gonna regret it, but for now we're just having a regular changing pad. And that is all the new, stuff we've just been like doing little house projects just getting stuff done before she comes i just did not vlog as much this week because 
I just, I wasn't feeling great. I still am not feeling great. Like it's just uncomfortable. Last night I was FaceTiming my parents and they had two giant bins of our books from when we were kids. And I went through with them and I picked out a bunch of the books. So I'm guessing my dad will probably drop it off at our house at some point and I'll have a lot of books to go through and reorganize the bookshelf since that's what you're sitting in right now. You are in our bookshelf. But yeah, I mean, like I told Scott, books, it's not like they expire. It's not like they're gonna go bad. Like it's just a bunch of books. So should be nice. Whew. And now I'm gonna try to get off the floor. Wish me luck. Currently in the process of setting up the film the podcast, but there was one little thing I didn't show earlier. So I had this shirt in my monthly favorites, I think last month. And I said I had it in black and gray and it actually went on sale. <laughs> This is distracting. Anyway, what I was saying, it went on sale, so I also bought it in navy blue. It's my favorite, most comfortable shirt that I have right now. What's your least favorite, most comfortable shirt? Your face. So I realize I haven't updated it in quite some time. So right now it's Wednesday, 31 weeks. I got myself one of these because the constipation is real. So let's. Let's hope this helps. Let's hope. I did go to the doctor on Monday, passed the glucose test, blood work looks good, weight gain looks good, blood pressure's good. The doctor said that I make it look so easy. I said, I'm glad I make it look easy. Sometimes it kind of feels like she's trying to come out of my belly button. It's kind of a weird feeling. Not a fan, not a fan. In my next appointment, I get my whooping cough shot. He did give me a couple updates about COVID at the hospital. So he said as of two weeks ago, um, anyone who was coming in for a procedure, positive results were coming in at 0.2%. And now we're up to 10% positive results. So like the cases are going up in our area, which is not really what I wanted. Not looking forward to that. I'm kind of hoping that that does not affect prenatal testing because that's really the only time Scott gets to come anywhere with me. We have our next appointment December 1st for our next ultrasound, so I don't know. I'm also wondering if that means some of the guidelines are going to change in the maternity ward. He did say they've only had one positive test at this point in maternity because it seems like pregnant women are taking a lot of precautions, so they don't have a high positive rate there, which is good. I've been decorating our house to distract myself, keep myself busy, because whatever the house looks like, for now is what the house is gonna look like when she's born because i'm definitely not taking down christmas decorations nine months pregnant and i am not calling it a christmas tree it is my winter tree and it will be up for the winter because i am not going to want to take that down anytime soon yeah i think those are the major updates i'm getting a haircut on friday so maybe we could do it before and after my first haircut since last october I'm not getting anything like big done. I'm just trimming the end so it's healthy um, because I want to be able to have it up with the baby coming. I just want to be able to throw it up in a ponytail or a bun really easily. And yeah, that's it for now. I, thought we weren't, I wasn't going to have to vlog anymore today, but our little, our little baby got a present in the mail. This is from my aunt. So she wrapped it with love and barrel and uncle terry couldn't resist the cuteness couldn't resist the cuteness that's oh <laughs> grant garanimals oh look at this it has a ruffle butt pads. she actually doesn't have any <laughs> this is a ruffle butt yeah that's the butt it's oh. like a little ruffly butt oh it's pretty cute <laughs> She's walking a little with the bears, walking a poodle. What? Thank you, Aunt Beryl and Uncle Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Aunt Beryl. It's very cute. These are her first ruffle butts. I guess that's what you call it. Mm. First clip on the new camera. Oh my god, it's focusing on my face, so it can't focus on your face. <sighs> Technology! I don't know how to use this camera. So we're headed to the haircut. How do you call it? Is it couldn't see it if I stop the that stops. So, like I said, we're, I'm getting a haircut tonight, um, so it's not going to look much different than this, honestly, after, at least it's not supposed to, just to freshen it up. But yeah, I just wanted to say, we got a new camera! Oh, we get to check off the checklist, get a new camera. And a haircut. Is a haircut on there? Yeah. 
Two. Oh my gosh, we'll do that tonight. Two things in one day. Woot woot. Hair is cut. I got this tree topper for our tree that puts snowflakes on our ceiling. We stopped by my parents really quick and they gave us a box of books, which Scott just carried up to the nursery. But I am going to cross things off the list. I'm very excited. All right, so I realized we can cross off three things on this list, actually. All right. So how's the quality? How's the quality? Not bad, not bad. Okay. We did buy a new camera. <laughs> Wait, Rachel haircut. And can I clear off some childbirth class? It's technically over. Sure. We forgot to attend the last two out of three, but technically we did one. So that's better than zero. What else? Do we do thank you cards? No, I'm still in the middle of them. I think that was it. Something we'll be winding up working on is the Black Friday shopping list. Probably, when? Probably sometime this week once the deals come out. So that's all for today. Actually, this is gonna be the end of the vlog because I think the next thing that we're doing should be the start of a new vlog. So see you in the next vlog. Pew.